The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will go to the Arizona Cardinals in one of the more interesting NFL Week 2 games. The Cardinals open with five of their first seven games at home, while the Buccaneers are on the road for the second straight week. The Buccaneers enter off a big division win in a 31-24 victory over Atlanta. And the Cardinals enter off a major missed opportunity, but Arizona is favored by almost a touchdown in this home game. Jameis Winston's spectacular two-minute drill before halftime sent the Buccaneers into the locker room as the team with the lead, and they never gave it up. While Bruce Arians had to feel like his team had a great shot to open the year, 1-0 facing the New England Patriots team without Tom Brady. But a shanked Chandler Catanzaro moment from 47 yards out dropped Arizona to 0 and one straight up and against the spread in a game they weren't going to cover anyway. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers were actually outgained in yards 374 to 371 in week one. Jameis Winston was 23 of 33 for 281 yards, four touchdowns, and just one interception, as he made some of those throws that made scouts and talent evaluators think that he can be one of the game's premier quarterbacks. It was a big win for the Bucs because Doug Martin never really got going with just 62 yards on 18 carries, including 17 on one play. And Tampa Bay was pretty reliant on the running attack last season, but they went out and won a ball game without it. Mike Evans proved impossible to cover, and eight different receivers caught a ball out of Jameis Winston's 23 completions. He made safe throws and avoided sacks. It was an impressive showing right out of the gate for last season's top draft pick. Containment was a problem for the Buccaneers defense, and that will need to be addressed this week. Tevin Coleman and Devonta Freeman had no success running the football, but the two combined for 115 yards on nine catches. That feels like something other teams can exploit in today's pass-happy, quarterback-driven NFL. The Buccaneers also failed to force any turnovers. They did, however, keep Julio Jones in check, which is something that most teams cannot do. He only caught four of his eight targets for 66 yards. The Bucs defense did hold Atlanta to just three third down conversions on 13 attempts, and getting off the field in the NFL is paramount. That'll be especially true this week against Arizona. The Arizona Cardinals either underestimated the Patriots with Tom Brady on suspension, or they were just unprepared. Arizona only trailed 10 to seven at the half, but the Cardinals offense managed just 149 yards on six first half drives. Carson Palmer didn't look all that comfortable throughout the game. He finished 24 of 37 for 271 yards, two touchdowns, and no picks. But he was sacked three times and had quite a few checkdowns in underneath throws. Chris Johnson was a non-factor, but David Johnson ran for 5.6 yards per carry. Something felt like it was missing from the Arizona offense, which was the most productive in terms of yardage last season. The Cardinals' defense allowed New England to stay on the field way too often on third down. The Patriots, even with Jimmy Garoppolo at the helm, converted 10 of 16 third downs. The game plan for the Patriots worked out pretty well overall. The goal was to make every sequence a three-down set of plays by staying in front of chains to leave third and short. It worked. They dominated time of possession by staying on the field. Overall, the Cardinals' defense played pretty well. It was death by paper cuts. They stuffed the run, but Garoppolo and the receivers found occasional soft spots in the middle of the field. The Cardinals will still be a very good team, and our advice is to not let games like this cloud your judgment too much early on in the season. This is a long trip for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and now we get to see how Dirk Coder does with one week of plan instead of a full off season. Laying big numbers is always worrisome at this level. But the fact that Doug Martin couldn't get going against Atlanta is a big red flag when you talk about the talent level of this Arizona secondary. It was a humbling loss for Arizona, and they are fortunate to stay at home to get a bounce back spot against a good team that is not quite there just yet. Our prediction is the Arizona Cardinals at minus six and a half points. For our pick and prediction on this game and every other game this week, and a wealth of free stats and information, check out bangthebook.com.